hi guys welcome so today i'm going to be showing you what i consider to be the best video editing app that you can find on android and apple products and that is vn video after a few research i decided that vn video is the best why because it's free and it's easy to learn so let's jump right into it if you're using android like me just go to your Google Play Store and if you're using Apple product, go to Apple Apple Store, search for it, VN, V for vehicle, N for number and you'll see VN Video Editor Maker. Click on it and install it. I've already installed it so all I need to do is just to open the app. So the first thing, once you open the app, you will see you'll be uh, introduced to an interface. Go down to the lower left corner you see a plus sign in a square click on it and that is how to start a new project now for a new project you can do a new project which is blank project or you can take from template so let's just go to a new project you see in this video i can't tell you everything i can't teach you everything i can only explain a few things to you and i would like you to spend your own time and figure out the rest. I can't explain video editing for you from A to Z. I can only give you some highlights and you would just figure out the rest. So click on new project and when you click on new project it will take you to your videos in your phone that you've already because it believes you want to import some video so you can always go to take, take some videos. So I will just select some videos right here and uh, i would once you've selected the videos that you want to select you can click on the arrow in the lower right corner so you are now in the editing interface the first thing you will see is your first clip now down here is what we call the timeline the timeline is where it's arranged all the videos that i imported so you can see all of them here if you want to import more, you can always go and add more clips. But now let's do a bit of editing. So the first thing you might want to do is that, okay, maybe after you've imported your videos, you want to rearrange it because the videos were not arranged in, the, in a particular way. You might want to, for example, I want to start with the video that looks like night or which is actually early in the morning and that's the one second to the last video all you need to do is to hold it and drag it over the other videos and right here you can see it's now in the first video that you click on and the next thing to do is you might want to reduce the duration of a video or you want to cut a video or you want to take one part of the video and put it in another place so for example this video of this um, this small truck driving I want to split it I want to remove some part of it there are two ways to do that you can either click on trim look at the options down you can either click on trim and you drag for example I've dragged and you drag it and you say you want it from this particular end you can see the yellow from this end to this end this is all I need and you can click the check mark to say fine if you look at it it has reduced the duration of the video another thing that you can do is you can cut so you can split a video so for example I feel okay this video is too long I want to split it you can hold it and look at where this line that goes across the video is actually the playhead wherever the playhead is you can put it there where you want to cut it put there your playhead and click on split and you can see the video has been the video is now split so you can take this you can move it around and take the other parts and you can actually decide to okay i think i want to delete this i don't want it here is delete down here on the lower right corner delete and the video is removed another thing you can do is that you want to add more videos or more photos and that is what we call in video terms maybe b-roll b-roll is a video that uh, is playing where you are seeing the video 
but another voice is going on underneath for example somebody says on this very day i went to school and you can see you can hear the person talking about his journey to school but what you are seeing is the person walking to school so the video clip of that person walking to school is actually called a b-roll so for example i want to add a b-roll to this morning clip i would i would i would click on look at the timeline there are four lines there there is one the top one is tap to add music the second one is tap to add subtitle and the third one is tap to add sticker picture in picture anything so i'm going to tap that and i can either add sticker or i can add a video or a photo so i'm going to click video on a photo and i'm going to just take a video one video this video and had it so i can leave the video to be small and i can actually stretch this video out to totally fill it so that it can be a picture in picture but let me leave it small so that you can see when it plays and when it doesn't and even this um this b-roll you can you can split it you can cut it can you see click on it you can see that now let's play the next thing i want to um show you is how to add text to video because i believe a lot of people like this so you just click on on this part that says t which is text so you can either add text or subtitle so here's a text and you can you can stretch out the text you can increase the size you can edit the text here click on the the something that looks like a typewriter and you can edit it fine and you can you can edit it you change the font right here and look at it you can add different things You can even change the color. So there's so many things that you can do in this text. You can you can say okay right here I want to add subtitle. And you just throw in some subtitle to it. Say okay. As the person is talking, you can you can edit and the subtitle will just be at that particular time so look at it now so you can you can edit it you can do a lot of things on text play around with it that's how you learn i want this video to be as short as possible so the next thing that you might want to do is to add music or voiceover so that and that's what you find here on the first line which is music so you can either add music effect or record a voiceover so let's say i want to add music it will take you to the music box in your in your place and i can just take oh let me just take one song and just choose it and it will just play <laughs> so that's that's music for you and you can also cut music you can split it change the volume of the music because you want the music to play in the background you don't want it to get louder the next thing is that you can also decide that okay at some particular point i want to add my voice over so you can just um, click on the plus button again and say record and you can just record you can hit recording count down to one so this is a voiceover on a very cold day right here at my house good so now the it, it gives you opportunity to play it you can play it to just listen good day right here at my house and if you're fine with it you say fine and that is it your voiceover is there another thing that you can do is change the speed right here you can just take a video and say okay this video i want to i want to change the speed of this video and all you need to click is the speed 
so this is the normal speed you can decide okay i want to bring make it slow down here so so when you click on it you can see that it has slowed down and this you can make it speed up again so you can take another video and just say okay i want this video to to have some effects you know so you can see so that's it for effects so after you've done everything and you're happy with your video the next thing is just for you to go to the top right corner right there and click on export you can you can always leave it at export original and it will just leave everything as you recorded it or you can decide okay because the original is uh, is at 1080p that's just the video resolution you can decide to reduce it maybe you don't want it to be too large and you can change even the beat rate and everything and as you are doing that it's as you reduce those things it reduces the size of the video and you can just say okay i'm fine with it so now export and the video is exporting that's it um i don't want this video to be too long that's why i didn't go into details on everything that you can learn please go ahead download the app for somebody that is just coming into editing you can actually do a lot of fun things that it will take you years to learn if you're using maybe final cut pro on on on, I, on apple or you're using adobe premiere so thank you very much i hope this video you've learned something remember to subscribe and remember to like this video and i want you to drop your comment and tell me which app do you use for video editing and if you're new you've not edited any video let me know in the comments thank you